multiplying fractions with chicken eggs and also like denominators. Let's say we have 15 chicken eggs. Fractions, additions, and denominators. Let's take our chicken eggs. There are 15 eggs. If you take one egg, that fraction is 1 15th. If you took three eggs, that is 1 15th plus 1 15th plus 1 15th. If fractions have the same denominator, then you can add them just like whole numbers. 1 15th plus 1 15th plus 1 15th equals 3 15ths. So what is adding the same thing over and over? Multiplication, of course. 3 times 1 15th equals 3 15ths. We took 3 15ths of the eggs. The denominator is the bottom number in the fraction. One way to remember this rule is that the denominator is down below and the word down as well as the word denominator begin with the letter D. 2 ninths. In this fraction, the number 9 is the denominator. These all have the same denominator. 1 ninth, 4 ninths, and 7 ninths. These all have different denominators. 4 ninths, 4 elevenths, and 1 twelfths. Denominator means number of parts. Denominator means more than just the number on the bottom. It's the number of pieces that make up a whole. So if there are 15 eggs, then one egg is 1 15th. The number 15 on the bottom tells you how many eggs make the whole nest of chicken eggs. Multiplying fractions. Again, let's say we have another chicken and she likes her eggs in three lines of five eggs each. If we take five out of 15 eggs, it is five fifteenths. Because we have five eggs, the numerator, and it takes 15 eggs to make the whole, the denominator. If we take five out of 15 eggs, it is also one third. Because if we think of the whole nest as three lines, three would be the number of parts to make the whole, the denominator, and one would be the number of lines we have taken, the numerator. Let's say one third of the eggs was just enough for grandfather, but then two people came to visit and they were hungry too. Three times one third equals three thirds, which equals one. We have taken one third of the eggs three times. We have taken one whole nest of eggs. But what if three people came to visit? Then it would be four people altogether. Four times one third equals four thirds. We already ate the eggs in one whole nest. Four thirds equals one and one third. So that means we need two nests. We have already taken one whole nest of eggs and now one third of the second nest. That would be four thirds, which also equals to one and one third.